During the COVID crisis, we have uh, taken on a new endeavor to try to do training that doesn't require face-to-face, -face, uh, me in a classroom with a student, with a technician or an installer. Uh, this is yet another installment in that. Typically, I'll bring people in and we will have an air handler. Take a look at the top left of your screen and I believe that's a CBA 27 UHE if I'm not mistaken. Uh, model number is relevant. It's a terminal strip inside of an air handler. Um, so we'll have an air handler and then I'll put a table out right next to the air handler and I will put these components, the Honeywell 8150 board, fresh air board, uh, a fresh air damper, and a thermostat. So uh, this PowerPoint uh, was built to put up on a screen and say, look on the screen, see where I connected the wires. Now you all grab the wire strippers and hook up the connections. Uh, this video is gonna be me trying to I don't know, uh, walk us through the same thing, just talking about the PowerPoint. And, and I hope it helps some folks. So first slide we're looking at here, um, I wanna make a point. Um, if you look, starting on the left-hand side, we're picking up red from the transformer in the air handler and bringing it to the uh, red terminal, um, on the RC terminal, on the fresh air board. But you notice to the right of that, I've got an additional red wire and I'm hooking it up and it's a little internal jumper I'm hooking up inside of the board. And the reason we're doing this is that the fresh air damper of its own doesn't draw so much power that we're worried about it overloading a typical 40 kVA transformer in an air handler. If you don't agree with that, if you simply want a second transformer, don't have that jumper from RC to R, don't put it in, just wire a transformer to R and C on the right hand side on the fresh air board. But for this PowerPoint, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take you through how to power your fresh air system off of your main transformer. And, and I promise you for just about every situation out there, it's not gonna cause you a problem. I would argue if you're popping fuses, there's something mechanically wrong, a relay, a contact, a reversing valve solenoid, or maybe even the, the damper motor's got a problem, but typically the regular thermostats, uh, I'm sorry, the regular transformers can handle it. Okay, next slide. Go through here and let's see here. Okay, so We've got a connection here from common, uh, self-explanatory, come from the air handler transformer and bring it over to either one of the common terminals. Now, if you, on, on the fresh air board, if you look at the fresh air board, see where it says CC and CH and there's a jumper between the two. So yeah, you could have a common for cool and a common for heat. If you wanted to go that route, um, don't need to. Okay, so you can leave that jumper in and just bring common over and put it under either of those C screws on the left-hand side because the jumper connects both of them. Next thing we're gonna do, once again, we're gonna do an internal jumper. Gonna take common from the left side of the uh, 8150 board uh, and just jump it across to the common on the right-hand side. Common, one more time. I'm gonna bring it down to my thermostat. And uh, you don't necessarily need a common in your thermostats, but uh, you know some of them, they'll just run off of batteries. Um, but of course, if you want the backlighting to work and stay on and things like that, or just not to have to fool with batteries, this is where you would connect it. All right, so look at the 8150 board. You see the green where I brought the arrow of the green wire into the top terminal? That terminal is GF, okay? G, well, we know that to go to your, to, to run a fan, you know, relay in an air handler. GF is fan relay to me. That's how I remember it, okay? The alternative will be, we'll talk about in a minute, and that's the GT down below, all right? That's G thermostat, okay? Uh, you can think of GF up top as uh, G fan coil if you're, if you're used to carrier, all right? So, gonna move on. 
You see that GT on the bottom, we're bringing it and taking it to the G terminal on the thermostat, GT, G thermostat. Y1, Y2. You notice I have a jumper wire between those two. Does it really matter which one I hook this yellow wire up to? It's not really that it's Y1 or that it's Y2. It's just plain old fashioned Y if you got a single stage condenser. Um, if it is a two stage, well then yeah, we would hook up Y1 to Y and then we would hook up Y2 to Y2. And of course, there wouldn't be that blue jumper between the two in the air handler. For now, we have a single stage outdoor unit. Take Y from the thermostat, bring it up to your Y terminals. So here, we let's see, what do we got? Uh, the screen didn't change, that's what we got. All right, and I'm looking for, there we go, all right. I don't know why we didn't get a different slide. So um, here we're simply self-explanatory. We're taking O from the air handler and bringing it to the O terminal in the thermostat. You know, we don't have an outdoor unit in this drawing. We do have, um, you know, everything else. So you could say, well, where's the outdoor unit? I get it. And yeah, I can show you how to wire an outdoor unit. But we don't really have to go there. So, O out of the thermostat, okay, uh, for your reversing valve, bring it over and put it on the O terminal. Next. There we go. All right, so um, let me back up here. Okay, so we have a connection between W2 and our W1, okay, so you see W2, it's just to the left of it on the thermostat, it says auxiliary, okay. So auxiliary heat, we bring that up to the W terminal. No different, so what am I do? I'm telling you how to wire a thermostat, I know y'all get it, but in order to uh, show the bigger picture of where this fresh air board goes and what we're doing with it or not doing it, I felt it necessary to bring the thermostat into this picture. Next. Okay. So here we've got red from the air handler coming down to the red on the thermostat. Next. Here you see that I've brought a red wire and color is really irrelevant. Over here on the, I'm going to go back and forth. All right, right here where the uh, where it says damper on the fresh air board, we're bringing a wire to one of the outside terminals on the fresh air damper. And then in the next slide, we're taking the other damper terminal and bringing it to the other outside terminal on the fresh air uh, damper. Nothing complicated about this stuff. Okay, so. That red that I brought down before, I actually showed you how it came down to the uh, uh, thermostat. And if you didn't have a float switch in it, uh, that's fine. But in this slide, I'm showing you a red coming from the air handler and it comes down to what? A float switch, that's your condensate switch. And out of that switch, we bring that to red. So in, in this set of slides, we're able to go ahead and show you uh, where a float switch is at in the scheme of things. And I prefer to put the float switches in this uh, red circuit. This is the red that feeds the thermostat because if the float switch gets tripped because the drain line backs up, the service call you get is I don't have air. Yes, ma'am, can you take a look at your thermostat and tell me is your thermostat lit up or blank? So long as the batteries aren't in it, a uh, little little side point there. As long as the batteries aren't in it, in addition to having been hardwired, and some people have done that, um, it will make your screen go blank. And you have a good possibility that um, the float switch is tripped, and uh, maybe the discussion about a shop back might save you more time to, to take a look at that, see if it gets you online. Mr. Jones, you know, I'll tell you where the drain line is. You know, especially when you're real busy, some customers just love it when you can give them a quick tip and get them going, go suck out the snot out of a drain line and get your unit back online. Well, that worked. Thank you. Just saying, here's where the float switch goes. Next. 
All right, so we have our, our uh, damper wiring again. Okay, a little better picture of the wiring in the fresh air board. Take a notice to something here. See the W terminal coming out of the left-hand side of this slide? That W terminal is intended to take a signal from the electric heat uh, from the thermostat and then in turn say, well, you know what? That's also a call for a blower. So this, this board will interpret uh, uh, that is a call for blower and take it into its uh, math of figuring runtime. Okay, now you notice we haven't hooked it up. Um, the reason for that is we have had a number, a number of service calls where the heat's running with the air and we track it back and it's this dumb board and it's letting power, letting red go out of W down to the thermostat <clears throat> um, or to the air handler, wherever it's tied into on W and it's turning the heaters on and we get these $800 electric bills. So we do not, we choose not to have a W input uh, on, this, on this board. On this slide, uh, big old word off, we leave on our new construction startups, we leave this switch off and there is a company that comes in separately to uh, decide what to set all of the dials on the bottom to. Just so you know, when you leave the house, yeah, the switch is off, turn all the dials counterclockwise. Oh, oh actually, the two left, turn them counterclockwise. And the one on the right, turn it as low as it'll go, which oddly, if you look, you see CFM on the bottom right, and then it goes 40, 50, 60 going up. So you have to take it and screw it to where the uh, uh, where we have um, the uh, setting at its lowest. So <clears throat> one last tidbit on this. Um, we wrapped up the first section of this video talking about we're going to leave everything turned down to its lowest settings, leave the board in the off position and that a, um, and a separate company would be coming in to set that board up. Moving on from that, this slide here, zone board wiring to a, um, to a fresh air board. It's extremely easy. If, if you look at down here, you've got your, your zone board equipment terminals. What do they look like? Well, they, they look like a thermostat. Yeah, they do. Your equipment terminals out of a zone board, think of them as the thermostat. It's a direct replacement for the thermostat. It is where the commands for your equipment, low voltage signal, is going to come from, just like a thermostat. Okay, so don't don't be like trying to figure, well, what, what thermostat's gonna run my fresh air and all that? It's not the individual thermostats, it's your commands coming out of this board Commands coming out of this board are essentially just your, your, your thermostat. Think of it that way. All right, we're going to wrap this up, and I hope this is helpful to take some of the mystery out of. There, there's always mystery when there's no training. Uh, but after the training, you see just how simple that, that what's that fresh air thing over there? Oh, my God, I won't mess with that. It ain't nothing but a thing once you have the training on it, right? Um, Y'all have a, have a, Oh, great day. See you.